let's go to our BTP account and configure our BTP account for first of all the SAP build work zone how to do that so let me just go back to our BTP account which we created in the last episode and log into our BTP account so I'm just connecting to my SAP BTP cockpit and now we can go to our global account from here and we can go to booster and we can see if there is a booster available which will automatically configure everything needed for my SAP build work zone yes we can check that so we can search for work zone and it's not there which means there is no one click setup of SAP build work zone which means as a developer I have to manually do it no worries we can now go back to account explorer and go to sub account perfect and here is where we're going to set up our build work zone subscription so go to services instances and subscriptions and we are going to create SAP build work zone service so click on create and we will search here build and you see we got build apps we got build process automation and build work zone yeah we will also discuss maybe uh, in a short way what is build code yeah it's just a tool it's an advanced tool we don't need it right now we can switch to build work zone now you, you saw there was two plan advanced plan standard plan you see both are right now standard standard only but one is instance and one is subscription and right now I'm not creating instance I'm creating subscription last class I have already explained what is subscription meaning yeah so in result it will give me a URL to access this application we will be seeing that I click and create and you can see it's creating my build subscription so in return we will get a URL and when we click that URL we are going to be taken by SAP to build work zone where we can integrate our standard applications provided by SAP for workflow management business process management even we can deploy our build apps over there yeah so that is what build work zone is all about as you saw there was no way to create a subscription for build work zone advanced edition because it's not there in the trial account so once it gets created we are going to launch it but please understand it's very secure environment so even though you as a developer created this subscription you yourself will not have permission to access this yeah you won't have that so if once it is created what people often do uh, after my training they will simply click and then they will get an error called unauthorized yeah unauthorized and they say anubhav i just created the build work zone subscription but i'm getting an error called unauthorized why am i getting that so the thing is the btp entire btp environment is very secure and in this environment you even you are a developer you can't access any subscription freely you have to grant the permission to yourself and how do you do that so you have to come to security users and then you have to come to select your user id so that's my user ID for this BTP account I can see it is pointing to default IDP identity provider in the future I will also explain the IDP concept more in detail but right now you can see that's my user ID you can also see find the user ID on the top you see here yeah on the top so that's the user ID I'm connected so I go inside and now I grant the role collection to this user now what is role collection role collection is nothing but it's a permission you are granting permission to your user to allow this user which is myself to access build work zone so click on assign and now you can see these are standard roles they are given by SAP yeah? automatically whenever you subscribe a subscription SAP will automatically show the relevant roles which you can grant to yourself so you yourself can administer and access those services so these are called as launchpad roles you see launchpad admin launchpad advanced theme and launchpad external user these are the three standard roles provided by SAP which allows you and me as a developer to control the build work zone admin role will have full permission to create new websites create new work zone site advanced theming role 
will have permission to create access theme designer to personalize user experience and apply custom branding of your company external user is the role which is granted to the people who can access this build work zone from as a external user from anywhere in the world they can access the build work zone because it's a cloud application so these are the three roles i am assigning to myself i do that perfect now i switch over back to instance and subscriptions and my build zone work zone service is ready the subscription is ready so in return you get a url when you click it launches a new tab it's an application so we go there then finally we have site directory where you can create site in the trial account you see it's a trial account you are only allowed to create one site only one site you are allowed to create so let's do that i click here and i call it as default you can name anything you want suppose i want to hypothetically i'm working with the company anubhav trainings so i can say anubhav training site i can give that so click on create and you see the site is created and now i can change the settings for the site for example do i want to user to allow to personalize do i want user to change theme do i want user to change language all these settings i can i can on switch on and switch off for my site yeah so that that is what we can actually do so that is a very simple site which we created over here when it come to build work zone and right now this site will have nothing yeah to be very honest this site will have nothing inside at the moment in the system so i can just save it i don't have anything and then we can test this site it's an empty site so to test it we click this button so it's pretty much an empty site so this is the link which you will give to your users so once we add some build apps or business processes ultimately this is the link which all the users in your company those managers those clerks those uh, vice presidents and ceo and the cio of the company they will be given this single link and this single link will show them ultimately all the apps all the tiles here or all the different apps